Okay, quick introduction to the uh, text tool for Memorial Designer. Um, we've designed this for UK memorials, um, but there's no reason why it couldn't be used over in the US. Um, we access it by clicking this little um, icon here, and it opens up a, a box with um, information about what's on the screen. So it's just pre-populated this with the text that we've got on the screen. Um, you can see we can change text, and if we click apply, then it'll update the uh, text on the screen. We can adjust the letter heights, so if we change it to 25 mil and click apply, it'll shrink it down. We can change the line spacings and just click apply to see the changes. Um, and we've also got the ability to change fonts. Now this is populated with a whole load of fonts. We may well just reduce this down to just pre-configured ones um, at some point in the future, but for the time being, I'm just gonna click the um, the, the Gisha font there. Um, and if I click apply, if you watch the Billy Smith align, that will actually change in height just by changing the font there. Um, and there's a there's a reason for that. If I just change it back to um, the Gil Sons and make that a 30 mil line. And then let's just have a quick look and see what's happening um, further on inside here. If I just click exit, um, if I select that line, um, then you can see the, the standard Coral Draw uh, text tool thinks that that line is 44 millimeters high. Um, we said it was supposed to be 30, and if we actually zoom in, um, we'll have a look at that line, put a box around it. So the height of that letter is indeed, as we suggested, it's 30.01 millimeters. Um, and that's because uh, standard sign writing packages like Coral don't um, think of the height of a letter as being the height of a capital I, which is the way that we would view things. Um, so we've built in some scaling so that we understand that if we want a 30 mil high letter, then in actual fact for this particular font, we need to create a, a letter that's 44.1 millimeters high. If I just pop back to the uh, text tool, um, you'll see that actually it's made a mess of the line spacing. And that's due to the fact that we've referenced this font that we haven't configured and isn't set up for um, use within the tool at this point in time. But as it sort of says over here on the right hand side, if the spacing or the location fails, then we just rerun the tool and we can type into here whatever the line spacing is that we want. Click apply and as you can see, it's now rectified the, uh, the issue over um, line spacing. So uh, it's fairly easy to recover should things not quite work the way that you would expect. And that's a brief introduction to uh, the tool. I'll go through various other bits and pieces um, later on.